Same old container rollover, but a slightly different location. We're no longer at the ports of Long Beach. Um, 40 to 60,000 pounds, trying to see if, uh, yeah, these are the super heavy. Let's see, let's see. We're on standby for Caltrans to finish this part. They said that the diesel, some of it went into the dirt. You could see right there. And that's considered hazmat here. So once they give us the green light, we are going to be staging the trucks right here. That way we don't have to shut any lanes of traffic down. More than what's already here at least. I finally got a drive shaft removal for YouTube. So what I can do in the meantime to save time. In the meantime to save time. Wow. Let's get my rigging already set up. We'll start with this. So when Caltrans gives us the okay that the spill is contained, we can uh, start. We'll already be rigged. I'll get my protector. little staging area I got my strap to bring it over container link for the catch load cell looks like they're almost done well they finish up I want this complete for my heavy record it looks like the spill is worse than we thought like I said, once you get into the dirt, grass, drains, confined spaces, uh, it becomes a whole nother hazmat ball game. So on the bright side, I mean, we got everything, all our rigging here. I got this set up. Once they give us that green light, once they give us that green light, I mean, it's game time. You know how fast we are. That should make for a really nice rollover. I got my load cell out to see how much weight i'm pulling on my line right here this is going to be my lift line and that's my catch it'd be a pretty heavy thing excellent we got the green light so the good thing we were already rigged i just connect my snatch block to the lift line I got my load cell up there already as well. Straighten this out. Bottom of this one. Oh. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Raymond. Uh -huh. I love this method. scared me. I thought my truck was falling. All right. We got our trucks. 
but two nose now all I got to do is put my container link which is going to be my catch line right here I've been using containers for so much but these are always trusty oh, gotta go out more Now we just adjust my boom. Probably go to a. I'll check my low truck, but I'm thinking like 45, 50 degrees on this one. Let's turn on my load so we're ready. Oh. You know what? Maybe uh, if that container is going to land right here, I got to go in with the boom a little. pounds give or take what are you well 500 but it was at 5,000 right now with barely any tension on it okay guys three two one let's do this you don't have high speed on it. no high speed is off I'm going in with both my cables at the same time so I don't have any slack. I'm just bringing it through now. Gotta go over more. Yeah. Oh shoot, it just went up to 15,000, 16 out of nowhere. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There you go. 22, 23. This is why I rig the way I do. Spike to 24,000 pounds. Coming over nice. Okay. Let me catch up on my catch too. I'm gonna hold it right here, hold on. Go in with the green a little bit, Rudy. tension on my lift now hold on Rudy let me see hold on hold on oh yeah that's bad that's good
upside down, Brody. All the way down, all the way down. Good job. That's gonna be shifted. You see how nasty that is? Dave's gonna push it up from his outrigger, but that's bowed out. That container took a bad, bad, bad beating. Let's see if you can see a better angle. It's straight right here. And it punctured it. Pushed it out nasty. I'll help you. Ugly. Oh. Does it have a seal? Yeah. Let's split the truck there and see if we can turn it. Yeah, and see if we can shift the load. In fact, let me pick up on my on my lift. I don't think we have okay. Did that do anything? Yeah, this is risky, guys. See, the thing is, we assume all the risk once we tow it. We put it on our tractor and it falls over. Oof. Yeah, if you want to take a walk on this side, please. Yeah, you see it? So it took a beating, whatever's in there. Are we able to cut the lock to see if the load shifted? Because that's bad. If it's shifted, then it's not safe for transport. But there's a chance if you have small pallets that we can use our trucks to counter lean it in and correct the load. But we got to cut that lock. Okay. Let us know. All right, now we get permission from the owner to see if we can cut this lock. Stand clear. Oh, just one door, no? That one, yeah. You got, use your hammer. Open sesame, Rudy. Yeah, that shifted. All right, let's open up. Uh, just so you guys can see. Everything when there's no dunnage, there's nothing to prevent it from sliding. Yeah, yeah that shifted bad. It just slid. You think we can uh, fix it? Um, See, the thing about try. fixing it, it's a, you have no dunnage, nothing to stop it from sliding. So if we lift it on this side, it can all just go on the other side. Huh? You, you can't do that on the freeway. See, people won't let you. It'd be impossible. Um, what we do is we got to put it on a landall. You put it on a landall offset about two feet. Take a picture of the load, Woody, just so, just so we see. Yeah. Right, so just to recap of why this happened, this is a laminate shiny floor. That's on wood. There's absolutely nothing stopping these pallets from sliding in here, which is why they flip on turns. 
it starts to shift a little bit and then it slides and the whole way takes it over so by counter leaning it all that's going to do is we pick up on this and uh it might not do anything or it might just slide the load from here to here and we're in the same boat that's where we put these on landos so we're going to set up for that right now Front locks are done. I think Dave's gonna double check if his are undone. We rigged up there. A little quick re-rig so we can take this container off. I'll probably stand on the other side. Rudy's hooked up with the tractor and the chassis to pull out as soon as we get airborne. My locks are undone, Rudy. I'm gonna do it from right here. I'm gonna do it from right here. You ready? Three, two, one. Stable. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm right at my max limit, dude. Hey, 29,000 pounds. Wow, and I'm rigged nine. for 30. That is crazy. This is why I love this load cell. You know why? Because all the loads on this side. Well, all the people that use chains on these kinds of jobs, I mean, more power to you, but a half inch chain and a 5 8 chain, both of those are going to be extending your working no limit. Both of those. Even a 12 ton shackle up in there. Like right there. Proof is in the footage. 29, 1, 2, oh. Rudy's letting the air build up, then he's gonna pull forward. And then my dad, El Capitan. I always love this part. for us see if Dave is ready I'll do my side and he does his
this way, right? Right there? Let's go take a look. All the loads on this side, right? So that's good. Let me push it over more. Here, let's double check. ugly with all this gap here and the container sticking out about a foot and a half it's actually even all the load is technically in the middle of the land which is what we want yeah i'm happy happy camper let me jump up there and take off all my stuff another job well done all right dave's truck is disconnected so he's going to be putting that rotator away while I focus on hole. Once I take this off, I just swing the boom around, tighten my cables, and off to the customer's yard to offload. West Covina. I mean, look, there's a lot of room to work here. It went in, in uh, I guess, the doors of the container facing this way. They're going to back up another container and do the swap, but we're going to do everything here. Dave and I are going to set up and we're going to put the container back onto the chassis. Then use a good tractor to back it up here. Very slowly. Good job, Rudy. Thank you. Hey, Dave. What about go down and out a little bit because it might swing a little towards your truck. Much better. Okay, Rudy, get down. 
Quita ese niño. Oh, 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 oh man. Right on video. Dave. Oh man, you jinxed it. You know what? As soon as I felt that gust of wind, uh -huh. I was like, oh. Ah, Eddie does that. Three, two, one. on the bill for the phone repair. Right. You're up, Rudy. to the chassis. Not everyone can turn as good as habanero. <laughs> All right, Rudy, let's see how good you are. so I could see everything. We have to take it. He doesn't drive. Rudy's not going to make it. I doubted you, Rudy. Not bad at all, not bad.
Hold on. Let me uh We did better than Carlos, that's for sure. So I'm disconnecting here or what? I think so. Oh my lady's back. Chasey. <laughs> Prop Good My turn Nasty violent right here. Dave, you have both ends? You got both? <laughs> Every time, baby. Like a glove. We have to put it back on the land all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are they alive? Huh? Are they alive? Yeah. All right, we got it split. Back onto the chassis. Rudy's gonna drive the company tractor here, uh, the customer's tractor, to back it up. Put it back on the kingpin, and then literally put it right here by the tree. And we're outro. Dave and I are going to keep our rotators on just for this part. See how it fares. No, let me just lift it. I could drop it. There, Rudy, back up. All the way. Perfecto. Now we remove our tension. What a fun call. Good job. Done. It's just a matter of me putting Hulk away. I'm gonna stay here while Rudy backs up the container. Yeah, that looks really bad from my angle. I don't know if the GoPro can show it really, but it's leaning. Just look at the landing gear. Notice how the driver's side landing gear is not too far from the ground, but this one's way further up. You'll probably see it better as it comes around. No, Rudy! Wrong way. Bro, they, they want it right here. They want it like, if you back up all the way where we originally were, and then you go head in so you're facing that tree. So just so back up straight, right like where, 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 where Carlos left from. You just go out of there okay. and then come back in so you're facing that tree. Okay. What's going on?
job, Ruby. Now hopefully he'll back up all the way to the end. And then as he comes forward to straighten out, he'll leave it parked right in front of this tree. Great job. I see, said the blind man. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Dave. I'm almost done putting Hulk away. Let me just uh, throw my snatch box on the back. And then Rudy will put that away and we're out of here. Peace out, y'all.